like a good hard punch to the bottom, all right? After I've done that, I kind of tap it a little bit. And now I add a little bit of water to my hands. I lock my hands together and I start to go like this, okay? So th this starts to bring this clay up. And this clay is pretty, for me, is pretty stiff. And then I drive this down. So you apply equal pressure from the sides with your hands. Yeah. You don't push it from one side and then let the... No, I do it from both sides. From both sides, okay. Yeah. And just, I like the wheel wedge quite a bit. Yeah, I think I gotta just build up my muscle groups again after that long <laughs> break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this any extra fat down here. Okay, try this again. I've got it pretty centered, so we'll bring it up. Okay. Now I'm just gonna drive it down. And you see, I'm just kind of bringing it. Okay, so now that it's like this, since we kind of want more of a plate shape, so we can really maximize that uh, that, that pattern that you showed me, Larry. What do you mean? I like to get a wide, but more like a plate kind of a thing. It's to show a little bit of the slip pattern. Now, just so you guys know, we're not going to be using slip this semester, really, because uh, I guess it's, you know, with the virus, like, can easily exist on clay. So... We're just not going to have sure to slip, but I'll demo this, okay? All right, and now I'm just going to go ahead and make my opening. And again, since it's more of a plate shape, I go down there. Now, I don't go down super far uh, because I like to trim a nice foot on there. So, okay. you know, so I'm going to take this and I just pull this out. So is your sponge actually gliding on the yeah. plate? Yeah. Okay. Like that. okay. Okay. And then I go in here now and drive this down, and I and I'm really pushing hard. And the main reason I'm doing that is it's all about compression. If you're going to make a plate or a bowl, you really want to do a good job of of uh, compressing the bottom because otherwise you'll just get that famous S crack. And that S crack you'll know right away is because those particles are sort of fluffy. Now, I'm going to actually use this sponge and bring up the walls. And I'm going to kind of go straight up. So I'm going to push from this side and push a little bit from this side. And then this is going to just, I'm going to extend this out. Is your right hand lower than your left hand? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. And I, I have, we've got a tool I'll show you guys here that Oscar made where I can show you guys how I, uh, how I bring up the walls. Okay, so right there you've got that. Now we've got a lot, still got a lot of thickness right there. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take the bottom and then squeeze. Okay. And squeeze. So you had thickness at the bottom and you just brought it up and, and tried to evenly distribute it yep. throughout the sides? Yep, I squeezed it on both sides. And now we're getting that, that shape that we, we want, that thickness that we want. So right here isn't too bad. I mean, it's, I need to make this a little thicker because uh, if I'm gonna do slip pattern, all that extra water is gonna kind of go in there. And I just wanna make sure that it doesn't flop, uh -huh. okay? Otherwise, I'd stretch it a little further. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? Do you know how many pounds you started with? Probably five. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take my metal rib and I like bending this. And I'm just going to go ahead and compress. And again, this is going to work that bottom over. And that just gives me that nice inside that we're always aspiring for, right? Look at that nice center. Okay. And give it another. Press. Okay. 
And again, that big, thick bottom that I sort of had is no longer there. Now, once I have this shape, then what I like to do is I go back in, add a little water, and I'm just gonna pull this out with my fingers. You may have an air bubble. So let me get this guy out. You see it? Sometimes even do this. I can take that metal rib and I can even, and again, I don't want to drop this down too much, uh, but, but I can even take this metal rib and hold this to the outside and straighten it out that way. Okay. And again, I can refine this. Pretty decent fight. So we're gonna stick with that, I think. I think that's decent. Um, okay, so now here's the pattern you want, Larry. Okay, now normally, under normal circumstances, I would let this stiffen up and get leather hard before I put this on. But since we're, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and add the white slip and create that pattern that you want, okay? Uh, but normally I would wait. And the reason I would wait is the slip has a lot of water and it can make this collapse, okay? Before I do that, I give it one more run with this at the bottom, just to make sure when I pull it off, I hold it in place. So when I run that needle tool underneath and I flip it over to trim it, I can always center there and I know that that's right. Oh, okay, yeah, okay? yeah. Okay, so here's, here's us doing the slip. All right, um, I think I know what your pattern looks like, Larry, if I remember. I'm gonna add this, here's the slip. This is the same clay? Yeah, I know, these are different. Oh, okay. These don't match up, so I don't yeah. know if this will even work. But then I just, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the slip, okay. All right, so your pattern, if I remember, oh, let's think. Uh, and then if you want, you can, you don't need these. So are you going tomorrow to experiment more? I think so. All right, and I know your pattern was like this, Larry, right? So I go like this. Is that what you wanted? No, more like a flower. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't like a flower. Goes like this. Like that? Yeah. Is that flower like enough for you? No, I can see what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Is that what you wanted? Uh, well, just the motion of your hand is, is good. And I'll probably have to work with uh, the mud tool. But you see how I did? Oh yeah, you wanted to use the mud tool. Well, we can try that out. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Let's see, where's my mud tool? I brought them. Let's see. I think I got another little guy in here. Uh, let's see. Mm. I don't think that's what you want, right? There is a lot of techniques. A lot of what? Different techniques. Oh, for, yeah. Yeah. You can do it this a lot of different ways. Um,
How's that look? Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. I like it. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just play around with your tools. But that's how you do it. Okay. Cool. Okay? Then give it a shot. Just oscillate that. Forward. Yeah. Just whatever you you want for your pattern, just oscillates. And it's gonna boil down to speed, speed of the pedal, or your hands. Okay. Slow your hands down or slow the wheel down or speed it up. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I kinda like that. Me too. Yeah. That's that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, especially you know I think after glazing, yeah, it's gonna give us some oh some very definitely cute textures. Definitely. I love it. Thank you. I yeah, think, I think I'll yeah, fire yeah. I'll fire this one up. I think this one's pretty cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.